Thanks, Heather. And I'll give a, a very quick uh, overview of the Biodiversity Ecosystems and Conservation Cluster before moving on to Ali to give the, the awesome visuals. Uh, and uh, that, th th this cluster covers a whole range of work around the biosphere, not only the natural science of the biosphere, but also its social science, its consideration as a social ecological system, and also its governance. And uh, we're quite a, a, a large cluster overall, around eight teaching faculty and, and fellows, uh, 18 postdoctoral researchers working uh, within this cluster, and uh, our latest count around 24 DPhil uh, research uh, students. And just to give you a very a broad overview of the, 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 some of the key people that, are, that have groups and components within, within the cluster. On one level, we have a, a, a conservation bio, uh, uh, biogeography and macroecology group with Rob Whitaker and Paul Jepson, who are also uh, uh, directs one of the MSCs, and, and, uh, and Rich Grenier, who's the academic director of the Biodiversity Con and Conservation and Management MSC. And, uh, and uh, their work focuses on, on questions uh, on, on the nature of diversity uh, at the scale of the planet, but also how, how, that, and the inf how that information and the information from biogeography feeds into conservation uh, decision making and conservation uh, planning. Uh, another component of, our, uh, of this cluster looks at different ecosystems. Uh, my own work focuses on <coughs> tropical ecosystems in particular and the functioning of tropical forests and how they're responding to, to climate change and, and monitoring the systems over change. Uh, Chris Doughty, a departmental research lecturer, focuses uh, on ecosystems as well, but also has a particular interest in megafauna, both contemporary and past megafauna, and how they affect <coughs> the functioning of the biosphere. And uh, a new addition, Mark Masius Faudia, who's just started as a NERC fellow and an associate professor, and he has a particular focus on cold ecosystems, either polar or high elevation systems, and how they are responding to climate change. And the third component of this group is, is, is the focus that we have on, on governance, and Pam Berry focuses on climate change adaptation and, and ecosystem services uh, with her group. Tom Thornton uh, leads research on indigenous peoples, uh, 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 cultural di di diversity and their relationships to, to the environment, and Connie McDermott leads the forest governance group. So all looking at different aspects of governance, and certainly Paul Jepson's conservation governance laboratory uh, also fits within, within, within this, th th this subsection as well. So that, that, so that gives you a quick overview, and now I'll hand over to Ali to talk about lasers in the jungle. <laughs> 